morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are just simply going to diagnose everything with Skyla, see exactly what is not uh, plumbed up correctly, um, and see why she's squeaking. She's making this really bad chirping noise that I know some of you heard in some of our other videos, and it could be one of two things. But let's pop the hood, and then I'll explain exactly what's going on. One, two, three. <sighs> just gotta love the transition gods, right? Now, if you guys watched my last video, I completely assembled Skyla both exhaust and intake side, um, minus the one intercooler piping that is still missing. I do have a 90 degree bend, but it doesn't really fit well inside of the piping. So what we're going to do today is we're going to actually put that in there and we're going to turn the car over without actually revving it. Try to figure out what the squeaking noise is because I believe it's either going to be my wastegate actuator or wastegate, uh, internal wastegate flapper. Yeah, flapper, um, because after I got the new turbo on, that's when the squeaking noise happened, so I really feel like it is that, or I burnt a valve. And if I burnt a valve, that's gonna be a pain in the butt. So, but anyways, guys, let me put that uh, intercooler piping on, and then uh, we're gonna start the car up. And here's that pipe I was talking about. As you guys can see, whoever had this last did some weird welding job, but we're just gonna stick this on Skyla for now, and uh, we're not gonna really, really be clamping her down. Uh, this is just temporary until I can actually find my other 90 degree bend. The nice thing is it's located right here, but I am still gonna take off the bumper. That way we can diagnose everything and be able to see everything up close. And there we go. See, it's kind of weird. I don't know why somebody would do that. But anyways, let's start her up. That's where she'll lay. Boy, does it smell like fuel or what? 
<laughs> that's awesome it is still smoking down here that's crazy um the oil is leaking a little bit but not crazy and then over there as well i don't know why hang on i'm gonna zoom in for you guys i don't know why that part right over there is leaking but it is and it's super annoying i have a new valve cover gasket on it and that's why i'm saying it may be a valve uh one of the valves are burning out because i shouldn't have oil protruding out of the valve covers after i put a new gasket on so but at least she drives um she doesn't drive well but she drives so all the piping over here is good i really feel like my math has gone out um even though i did resolder it i feel like it just wasn't good enough uh to fix this issue um but at least she starts up the injectors are definitely telling this thing and to piss off and does not like it at all but that's okay with that front mount intercooler back on i have to say guys she looking very mean so I know a lot of you are going to have questions on exactly what the build is coming to and what we're going to do. Um, depending on after the tune, how she's acting with the new MAF, will really determine the next best move for this car. That 90 degree elbow, that's that's easy. It's laying around my apartment somewhere or, or somewhere. It's somewhere in the great unknown. But um, depending on how that tune does and how this car is reacting will depend on whether or not I keep it this way or I disassemble the head, do a new head gasket, ARP head studs to include all the new valve springs and valves and all the retaining clips on the inside. Um, I would like to rebuild this head sooner or later, but uh, that is not something that's very pressing at the moment. I'd rather give you guys good content of me driving the car than uh, just simply disassembling it over and over and over and it being the skyline that never runs. But this video is a, a little short for you guys and I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Um, we're trying to push out better content, but hopefully on Friday, my sponsor's uh, package will come in and we'll do a little unboxing video. And I'll show you guys exactly what... That was a complete fail. Anyways, like I said, tomorrow i should be getting my package in which means friday i'll have a video guys video for you guys of uh, our new sponsor and exactly what they've provided for us and what they're going to provide for us for the channel but other than that guys like i said this was a quick update for you just to see what, how skyla is doing um i really hope you guys stick around if you like my content make sure that you please subscribe hit that bell icon if you want to be notified when my videos actually upload i upload every monday wednesday and friday at 9 a.m other than that guys uh, have a good day and uh, let's go for a ride.